Well, first of all, how are you doing since the news came out about Abby? Um, I'm in shock. Mm -hmm. It hadn't really hit me yet. Kind of comes and goes. Um, angry, sad, relieved. Um, I don't have to wait anymore. I'm not looking at my phone. Mm. I don't know. You poured everything you had into finding your daughter. I mean, mm -hmm. there were times you said you were scouring the internet, you were doing everything in your power, and now you have an answer. It might not be all the answers, but it's something. How do you feel having that? Um, it, it confirms what, I, what I've thought. I've believed in my heart she was gone. Um, I wish my energies had gone towards looking in a pipe. Um, I'm kind of beating myself up because I would have crawled in the pipe to look for her, mm -hmm. but I can't go back. Her disappearance has brought a whole lot of awareness to trafficking. It's her disappearance has saved lives. Um, so God's brought purpose to her life. I didn't know a lot of things that I know now. I didn't know someone reported smells from that drainage pipe. I didn't know there was 911 call. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that her dad was the one contacted and told, hey, your car's out here, you need to come pick it up. And he's the one that went out there and picked it up. He's the one that called the police. I didn't know these things. Um, it may have been a different story. Does that make you angry? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, if I let, let that fester, I'd lose my mind. You, you were at that park several times, I know, for vigils, mm -hmm. just to visit. There was a memorial set up for her, still is. Mm -hmm. I know this is tough, but knowing your daughter was there the whole time, how does that make you feel? Did I was right there. She was right there. Her body was right there. Mm -hmm. About 60 feet from her car. I went over there and I placed flowers. My husband and I placed flowers where her body was. You can throw a stone from where her car was to where she was. And you had no idea? I had no idea. I wasn't pointed in that direction. I was pointed, you know, I searched everywhere I could. Um, I can let myself go back and think I would have I, I would have done anything. I would have dug up the whole park. I would have dug up the whole parking lot. I would have had people digging had I had any idea. Mm -hmm. um, had I known that had not been searched. Um, thank God, thank God for Detective Tommy Hudson, for Captain Russell King, mm -hmm. for Chief Wayne Bewley. You know, that's what a cold case does. They take the case and they start all over. If it were not for those men, we never would have found Ebby. In the beginning when we talked, I mean, you were angry with police and rightfully so because they admitted that they had done things wrong in the investigation. Mm -hmm. um, were you able to ever forgive them? You have to forgive or you just die. And that's where I am now. Mm -hmm. I can, I have to move on. You know, now there's other things to move on with. Mm -hmm. uh, they're investigating this as a homicide. Ebby obviously didn't raise a manhole cover mm -hmm. and put herself in a, in a ditch. She didn't slide herself in there. So it's being investigated as a homicide. You know, we have a lot more coming. 
Um, I don't know when that is. That's not my fight. I just wanted my little girl back and I have her back. Um, the, the rest is, another, is someone else's fight, it's not mine. You have a lot of people fighting for you on the Facebook page. I mean, there's a lot of people that are very upset and angry over this that didn't even know Ebby. I, you know, I haven't been on her Facebook page much. Um, we're tired. There's so many emotions going on. Um, we have, there's so much. We're tired. We're devastated. We're angry. Um, the grieving hasn't even started yet. Mm -hmm. I feel like my head's on backwards. I'm just, I, I'm just walking in circles. Someone please tell me what to do. Yeah. Um, the details, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to know the details. They're not good. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I think I'm still in shock. One minute I'm up, one minute I'm down. Um, I don't know. I know that Evie's life has brought so much good. And the more that I read, the more things that I've found, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud to be her mom. And I'm so devastated. This is not what you thought. You had always had hope that Hebe would be found alive. I don't know that I had hoped she'd be found alive. I didn't know that her life, I don't know if I had hoped she'd be found alive. I knew her life, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Mm -hmm. I know she would, I don't know how to answer that. Did you feel anything like that day, did you feel like that day something was going to happen? Because some days you have good days, some days you have bad. Was there anything significant about that day when you found no, out? What, no, but that, the three weeks up to that, you know, you're, God's preparing you, but you don't know because I thought I was going crazy. Mm -hmm. We had to put my dog down the week before, um, her dog. It had been with us 15 years. Mm -hmm. I had been not sleeping. I'd been thinking about, I'd started writing her funeral. I'd been writing down her songs. I'd been writing down her service. And I thought, I'm going crazy. It'd been so heavy on my heart, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, I couldn't tell anyone I was doing that because I thought I'd, I was crazy. I was just tossing and turning, couldn't get it off my mind. It was the day before um, she was found, was making an appointment to go see my pastor to talk about this. Um, hadn't talked to Michael about it. And God was preparing me. And she was found the next day. Um, I was, I'd been planning, how will I know what will happen? You know, you kind of wait for that thought, that how will it come to you? What will they do? Mm -hmm. And Michael Cotton said, I'm going to take you to lunch. And that's never happened. <laughs> so I knew either my dad had died or they had found Debbie. And they'd found Debbie. They found Debbie. And um, there's a way to tell, a, there's a way to tell a mom that they found your loved one, your daughter. Or your son, mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting. The way you tell your the mom is not the way they tell you. <laughs> There's and it's just interesting the way women perceive things and the way men perceive things. Mm -hmm. You know, when they say we found a skull, I immediately thought just a head. Mm. Now, men perceive that as remains a skull you know right, they found her body i heard 
a head mm. and no body. So it took, it, then I hear remains, and so I'm still thinking, I'm not thinking skeleton remains. Mm -hmm. That was very, very difficult. So when I've talked to other women, they would have thought the same thing. Mm -hmm. But men, that's where your mind immediately yes, goes. Yes, that's what. So mm -hmm. I'm just. It, it was a process, yeah. and I've talked to other moms, and they think the same way. And men are think, no, it never mm -hmm. would have occurred to me. Yeah. That way, that's kind of gruesome details, but. Um, no, I, I honestly, I really the way men to, think and the way women think. Yeah. Your mind immediately goes to one thing. Right. Um. Uh, so this was on when this was on Wednesday. This was last Wednesday, right? I, I mean, don't know. This is a, it's a, you, don't, you can't even. Um, and you know, I go back and I think, why didn't I go there? Why didn't I run up there? And but at the time, I know, uh, Detective Hudson said, I know. I asked, can I go there? And he said, No, you can't. But now I think, why didn't I go there? Mm -hmm. Why, you know, why didn't I run up there? So there's always these, why didn't I, why didn't I, why didn't I? And you probably have those forever, those feelings. And scripture tells us there's a day and time for all of us. I couldn't have changed that. Abby died on the day and time, her circumstances could have been different, mm -hmm. but that was her day and time. Now you'll you'll get more answers in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, and it's just going to go on and on and on, and it may be next week. It may be I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's something that I I can't force. Mm -hmm. I can't fight for. I can't. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my other daughter and my son. I'm so proud of my husband. You know, I've got, I've got another daughter that is so successful in her life. Mm -hmm. Most people could not be successful in their life with the circumstances we've been given. And she's an incredible woman and hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. She hasn't stopped going. I'm so proud of her. So we come from a line of strong women. Mm -hmm. And my husband, he's carried us all through this. He has just been a pillar of strength. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, it's only through our faith have we gotten through this. Mm -hmm. I know that it's it's been a week now. And I mean, like you said, there. This is one door is closed, but it still leaves open another door of what could have happened, who could have done this. The way you fought to find Abby, do you feel like you have any fight left to continue to work to see who did this to her? Um, I'm not going to have to fight for that. Somebody else, there are detectives are going to do this fight. Mm -hmm. They are, they are, they've been fighting this whole time since they took the case. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have to fight. They've got this. Yeah. They've got this. You have confidence. They, yeah, I've, I've had confidence since they took the case. Mm -hmm. um, and when was that? That was in, do you remember? I can look it up, but I remember they took it over at a certain point. In 2016 or something? Yeah, you know, I don't even remember oh, the okay. dates anymore. Yeah. Um, but they've got this. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can do to help them. Mm -hmm. So I've, you know, they've got this. Mm -hmm. I, need to, I need to heal. Mm -hmm. My family needs to heal. You need to actually grieve. I need to grieve. I, 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 don't, I've, I don't know. We've got to pull ourselves together. We've got to, we've been through a lot, you know, and we have a lot of support. We have so much support and mm -hmm. so much love it's it's incredible, you know. We've got some people that have been that are sending us mean things, hateful things. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm They're, grateful we don't ha we have just a few. Yeah. We don't have a lot. You got a whole team of people that support you. <laughs> people you don't even know. Yeah, and um, we just need some peace, mm -hmm. and we have it. Abby's at peace. She's been at peace. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it's like I said, um, I think her funeral was Saturday. Ironically, she's the first to accept death and is praising God. We're, the, we're here sad, mm. but she's praising. Mm. So that's what I think about when I get sad. And, you know, I have a list of regrets as a mom. I think that's part of it. And that's the part I have to work through. Mm -hmm. But you feel confident they'll find out what happened to you. Oh daughter. yeah, absolutely. I'm a hundred percent confident. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's I'm I'm a hundred percent confident in that. Is there anything else that you want people to know or that you I mean anybody who's watching that you feel like you want them to know if you all want peace, if you all want prayer, whatever you need. I just I just want to say thank you. Thank you for honoring Ebby and um, just, you know, I, I don't know. I just want to say thank you. I have so much gratitude mm -hmm. for these detectives that are on her case. I have so much gratitude. I have so much gratitude for our state and for the media mm -hmm. that have helped us. I couldn't have done it without y'all. I, re I really couldn't. I couldn't have done it without everyone's prayers. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it by myself.